Travis. Lots of extreme weather all throughout the country right now. We're going to see extreme rainfall accumulation with Hurricane Sally as it is very slow moving. 15 to 20 inches of rainfall could be possible within isolated locations along uh, the Gulf Coast. So Mississippi, Alabama and the Florida coastline here going to see that heaviest of the rainfall. Florida's already seeing those heavy rain bands impacting them as well. Uh, this storm's going to take a sharp turn off to the east. So not only does the coastline have to worry about that torrential rain um, and that flash flooding threat, but also further inland locations as well. So central Alabama going into Georgia, they have to worry about that rainfall and threat for some severe weather possible uh, with Hurricane Sally as well. The storm continuing to impact portions of the eastern seaboard even as we head throughout later on this week. Now again, because it's so slow moving, our landfall time has been delayed not until the overnight hours tonight, even possibly for our early Wednesday morning. So the tropics are staying really busy. We have Sally, we have Hurricane Paulette, these two still remaining hurricane strength, and then we have Tropical Storm Teddy and Vicky. Also, one name left on the list, and that's Wilfred. And guess what? We could be having Wilfred on our hands as we head within the next um, 24 to 48 hours here. This has a high chance of development off the coast of Africa, so we will be watching this area of convection for further development being our last name storm on our 2020 Atlantic hurricane season list. Then we're off to the Greek alphabet and we'll have alpha on our hands. Once again, that hasn't happened since 2005. So switching gears back to Tulsa now. We're taking a live look on our Brickside camera. This is all part of our Dave's Clamor RV weather camera network. Beautiful conditions out there on our Tuesday. We have a really quiet weather pattern in store for the next several days. Temperature of 80 degrees. We are expected to warm up into those lower 80s for our high temperature this afternoon. So football practice looking good for tonight. Mix of sun and clouds out there staying nice and warm. Forecasted high is going to be 83 for us here in Tulsa. Uh, down to our South McAllister, 82, 81 for Muskogee this afternoon. You may be feeling a little sneezy as well with that mold and and weed count going to be rather high for today. Grass is going to be in that moderate level and uh, tree pollen going to be low for today as well. So our only real chances for rain are going to be falling tomorrow and into our Thursday. I mean, very, very slim. Uh, we do have this frontal boundary that's going to be off to our north as we head into our Wednesday afternoon. Now, slight chances could be possible for areas south of I-40 here. We see our future track radar picking up on a couple of those in northwestern Arkansas. Those could filter into the KJRH viewing area, but like I said, very, very slim chances. Mostly, we will be staying dry. And then, as that front passes through on Thursday, we'll be seeing a bit cooler conditions conditions, not extremely cooler, slightly cooler conditions. We'll be talking instead of those mid 80s, we'll be back into the lower 80s as we head into our Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So our weekends actually looking pretty good. Mostly sunny skies in lower 80s for our Saturday and our Sunday. Winds shifting back out of the southeast, staying nice and calm for us at that time as well. And as we head into next week, Dry weather still prevails for us here in green country as things look to stay quiet for us. Um, abnormally quiet with all this uh, extreme weather that's going on in the world for us right now. Uh, things are staying nice and calm here in green country. Travis.